Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverts and Other Animals with me, Phil. And I've just got back from the November IHS Stormcaster Reptile Breeders Show. Another fantastic show, really, really busy. Uh, met some great people I didn't film at the show. Um, again, don't necessarily really like people filming there, um, which is fair enough. <laughs> um, and it's nice sometimes just to, to enjoy the show uh, for what it is. Um, so there's no show footage, but I'm going to show you what I picked up from the show. So not a huge amount of livestock, but I did get some some bits uh, for a couple of projects and stuff. So first off, I've got a couple of these tree fern panels. Uh, so double packs, tree fern panels from Buzzard Reptiles, Mike Green. So a uh, fantastic store. I absolutely love these things. Um, I've used them in a couple of enclosures. find it far easier to work with than Koya. Uh, so they can sort of the Koya matting. Uh, backgrounds uh, it is a lot more expensive so of course so these are 20 pounds a pack um so there's 40 quids worth there so but i just i prefer the texture of it i prefer the look of it um so yeah that's why i went for that also from uh buzzard i did get a couple of plants as well which are for an upcoming project so got this lovely little uh uh, uh califer uh, so a nice, nice variation in colours there. So also got this, uh, this little uh, palm as well. So, uh, so was it uh, Communion Commandoria Elegans? So, um, so they all came from Buzzard Reptiles. Also got a couple, a couple of tubs of live feeds, and uh, uh, for my one, picked up some of the Pontia pads uh, from the one from them as well. Then also on a similar sort of vein with plants, uh, there's always a good uh, selection of plant stools at Doncaster. Oh, there's one, I'm missing one here at the moment. Where, where's it gone? So there was a uh, tree bay, was there in the background, but I've got some air plants. So um, these were free for a tenner, so I did get free. Oh, there's the other one. There we go. So really interesting uh, air plants. Uh, so these came from Tree Bay. So another fantastic uh, plant stool. And then from Bioactive Herbs, got a couple of uh, caught branches. So like I say, these are all for some upcoming projects I'm thinking of doing. And then got some more plants, which these were free for a ten as well. So we've got a nice grass here, uh, a festuca, uh, blue ice. I'll pick that one up. Oh, then we got untangle them a bit. Da, 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 da. This lovely little one here, um, a pepper verticular. Arta, um, so for thought game, some nice contrasting colors with it. <clears throat> and we've got this the uh, skin daptus uh, pictus, or sometimes it's called the, the sylvine or silver uh, devil's ivy. There's a nice uh, trailing and climbing plant as well. So they uh, again were free for a tenner. Um, from bioactive herbs. So, and um, what's always nice um, with the plant stools is I, can, I sometimes sort of compare with uh, my dad, who is a horticulturist and has worked in the plant, sort of the plant industry uh, for a number of years. And so, um, he often will say whether something's, you know, a decent price or not. And he agreed that for all the plants, they were all sort of decent, you know, decently priced for what they are. And so ample the size that they are, um, which is great. It's always great to hear. Um, I like can be happy with them. They all look fantastic. I did get a few uh, little bits of livestock, not too much. Um, so I've got some new isopods uh, from Bitey Things. So I've, I've seen this all actually at pretty much every show this year. Um, I've been to, but I've never bought off them. So this is my first time buying off them. Uh, I've got two species of ice pod 
I mean, so these ones I've had before, and then my dairy cows invaded them and uh, it killed them off. So I've got some Amadolidium Clugo Montenegros in here. Just about seeing them there. So the clown isopods. So it's all as uh, as ten, but yeah, I so said there's normally at least kind of eleven in in there. There's they're decent sizes, there's a mix of sizes as well, which is nice. And then a brand new species for me, Amadolidium. Uh, Perisea. Uh, now these guys are, I think, absolutely stunning. There's one on there. Uh, quite an un, almost like a little unusual. I suppose. Just about seeing there. They're a great one, but up close, there's you know they've got some interesting uh, markings on them and stuff. So they came from bitey things. So, and then from the spider shop. Always got to visit the spider shop at any show. Got myself a new little scorpion. Just hopefully, just about to see it. Just, just here. There's moving. Hello. So that is the matte brown scorpion or a uh, uh, cherryless species of Sumatra, and not one I've kept before. So that's really exciting. And then also, what's really exciting for me. Is uh, these two little things which I'm hoping I've set right on our pair of Indo Cave uh, Taylor Swift Scorpions um, and the Fliggids, uh, Chiron CF Grey Eye or Grey. Look at that. Okay, so, absolutely stunning. So, so very, very uh, different to um, like your Damon's. Uh, Something that you see a lot more often. So they're a lot thinner. So, um, and almost sort of longer legged as well. So that's what I got, but let's go ahead and get these guys rehoused. Okay, so this is what one of the new Amber Blickets are gonna go into. So Carefully pick it up and stick it in. Get you whipping. Get you whipping, that's it. And might as well use the, the coil so it's about in there. I might as well even put the little bit of leaf in there. A little effect leaf. There we go. So I'm going to keep these separate. <laughs> so uh, monitor them for a bit. And then if I think they are a pair, if I, if I think I've sexed them correctly. Uh, try and put them together, but there we go. There's one uh, rehoused. Okay, so sell for the other one, so much the same. So this one didn't come with faith, so we'll try and get some. So I'm hoping because this one is quite a bit bigger. So have a look. There's no, there's no eggs there, but I'm hoping this one might be female and we'll get some eggs from her and the, the other one. Hopefully it is is a male. Let's go ahead and tip that in there. So so uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I can breed these. Uh, we will see. I need to go in. Look at that. I mean, I just think these are absolutely amazing. I love all Taylor Swift scorpions. Uh, these guys absolutely fantastic. So I've got Damon Medius. Uh, already a pair of those. Um, I've also I've kept uh, Damon Varigatus and bred Damon Varigatus at work. So um, I've never had these guys before. So brand new species for me. Uh, so yeah, that's that one. Rehoused now as well. Yeah, this is going to be the kind of site I have right for the clue guy, the Montenegros. So it's just a uh, well, I'll do as my sort of my general sort of base of uh, organic compost and some leaf litter. I'm going to add the uh, the topsoil that I come with as well. And just add all this sort of in there with them. Gently uh, sort of tip them in, move it around a bit. Gently mix it in a bit, and then they should do hopefully really well. And here, I'll probably get a couple more. Um, 
just to sort of really get them sort of started and uh, get sort of a couple of bud lines in. So they're absolutely stunning. Uh, I suppose I really, really recommend the Clue Guy. Uh, if you've never kept ice pods before, it's an absolutely stunning thing. I see a nice bit of cork buck in there. I got a bit of a carrot with uh, some limestone flower on there and some uh, buck boost on there too as well for them. And uh, yeah, they should be uh, hopefully nice and happy in there. Once they get breeding and stuff and start kind of hopefully exploding in the summer. Oh, as you see, it's not a huge tub, but it's only for sort of 10, there might be 11 in there, 11 or 12. Um, I'll then move them up into a big one once they've kind of established themselves. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with the Amadalidium Perisae. So, this species I've never kept before. There they are. I think they're absolutely stunning as well. I did add in these pots um, just for a bit um, some uh, bee pollen, which I'll keep in here, as well as uh, some of the dusts. So basically going to do basically the same sort of thing as I did with the glue guy. Okay, you might as well keep the topsoil. Mix that around a bit. And sort of gently. You don't want to be too rough at all, but yeah, no, these guys look absolutely stunning. And then just the same nice bit of cork bark. And a bit of carrot in there as well. Just, just with some dust on it if they uh, fancy something else to eat. But mainly it'll be uh, things like uh, rotten wood and leaf litter, stuff that, that they'll eat, um, along with sort of some supplementary uh, bits of carrot, potato, things like that, um, and dusts and stuff. So we'll see how they get on as well. Anyways, so I'm going to stick the scorpion to show you a piece of spider into this uh, little mini acrylic enclosure. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically use the substrate uh, that it's come with. So, so what I'll do is actually uh, basically transfer scorpion into another tub temporarily. Let me little one. So it's just in there. I'll take it here, I haven't sexed it. So if that's the one I can do while it's in. Our enclosure, and then I can just tip all this coir into here. Lovely. Around a bit, and then I'm going to stick a little Jason Mask Horror Hide in. I'm just playing out, so it's got a bar it, and then I've also got a little, uh, little bowl for it. There we go, really simple setup. Uh, but I should hopefully uh, sort of keep it fairly happy. I can add some bits sort of later on. So there is said scorpion. So that top's going to probably not be quite clear enough for me to actually sex it, but have a go. And the way we do that is by looking at the underneath of the scorpion. So probably not going to focus in on this at all. But looking at the lights, looking at the pectins in the middle, that could be a female. But I'd have a perhaps another look another day under a magnifying glass or an eye lens, just to have a bit of a closer look and stuff, just to be a hundred percent. But there it is, absolutely gorgeous little scorpion. Uh, so, there you go, nice little simple, nice little simple setup that basically comes with a nice little uh, display tank. Okay, so that was my pickups and rehousings for the November IHS Doncaster Reptile Show. What do you guys think? Absolutely love the Taylor Swift Scorpions. Hopefully I've sexed them right and I've got a pair. Uh, I'm going to keep them separately for now. Uh, see how they settle in, see how they do uh, before trying to pair them up. 
Um, and hope, as I say, fingers crossed, they are there. So, um, couldn't be happy with the little scorpion as well. That's an amazing little thing. Um, so I absolutely love that. And I'm really liking my little scorpions. I've loved scorpions for a very long time, for years and years and years. And I'm really starting to get into some of the smaller species, um, just as much as the large ones as well. So, and of course, the isopods. Um, absolutely stunning. Both species. I've kept the clue guide accounts before, the Montenegro's. Um, but never kept the uh, per se okay, um before, so that's yeah, gonna be a really interesting one to see. And um, so do check out bitey things. Um, I suppose it look like you know good quality isopods from them. So another another store to check out. Um, and so I had a bit of a range of isopods, including a couple of Cabarrus uh, species that I had. They're panda kings. Um, I was tempted to get another few panda kings. So it's actually quite a good price for those um, to add to. To my lot, which are breeding really well, so um, they also had white side as well, which I was sort of I was half tempted with, but they are quite similar uh, to the Panda Kings in terms of the looks. Uh, so I decided to go for some cheaper species, um, just because yeah, I'm not even one that I've never kept before. So, um, but really really cool. So, so, so do go and check those guys out. Really lovely people. And so then a little update with the Taylor Swift scorpions. I've got the uh, the, Ind the Indonesian ones, uh, my um, Damon Medius, uh, so my uh, West African ones, uh, my female is currently carrying in eggs, so, so again, fingers crossed, I will have baby Damon Medius in the collection soon. I've bred Damon Verigatus before at work, um, I'm yet to successfully breed uh, Damon Medius, so, so this will be really, really cool if, uh, if she can go to town with those eggs. And then carry lots of little green babies on her and they're amazing mothers so i'm really really hoping that i'm successful with that i'm really happy that i saw some eggs i haven't been able to get any photos yet but i don't want to disturb it too much and stuff either for that one um but other than that guys if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up please pop some comments down below and if you haven't yet please do hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know every time i upload another video but until next time guys take care stay safe and keep rocking.